It's Love Coast Corey here and I'm at the Monroe's Books which was built in 1909 and was originally a Royal Bank building. In 1963 the Royal Bank building was sold to Jim Monroe who turned it into Monroe's Bookstore which it is today. And we're going to go on a tour of what used to be the Royal Bank and is now Monroe's Books. Come on! Ready, set, go! Here we are in the entrance to Monroe's Books. Ready, let's go. It is a beautiful building, absolutely spectacular. It was originally a bank. And the vaults today are downstairs. Well, they've always been downstairs.
be able to just close that door behind you. Now you know our secrets. So just over here, we have a couple of the old bolts. You can see like, for this one, like the iron, like the, the metal door frames were taken out. So it's pretty, um, it's pretty, <laughs> it's just full of books now. It's awesome. Yeah. It's what you would expect an old vault to be like, and oh, I can tell wait. you what it looked but back wait, in the I day. Got, uh, you haven't seen anything yet. Wait, wait, wait. It's right over this way. Oh my gosh, the stairs are marble. I don't think they're marble. I think that's just a... Really? I oh, and this is a vault door is. too. Yeah, that's a vault door. Yeah, oh. yeah. That's not a super solid vault door. No, um, <laughs> we had some really impressive... We had the, a really big one removed a little while ago just because we needed the space, but it was like this thick. But like the ones down here are really, really old. They're from the 1920s. So they're not the kind of what you would expect in like a modern bank with like the super, you know, thick, complicated vault doors with all the tumblers and everything in them. They don't have Oh, those. I've changed the combinations on those vault doors. Oh yeah. And oh yeah, I oh, have been that? with the, the locksmiths when they've had to try to break in and not uh, wow. pretty much get the door to never ever open again. So like this vault here, Oh, I'm coming. Okay. <laughs> this is where we keep all of our overstock, so that's what you're just seeing right here is all the extra bucks. It's huge down here. It's, 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 it's a maze. It's, a it's, maze. It's, it's as big down here as it is upstairs. What's really cool is in here, you get, so these are original shelves from the old bank, and they still got like some of the labels from way, way back in the day. You can just use them for junk right now, but um Oh my goodness, I'm like gonna pee my pants in excitement. <laughs> <laughs> like, for a banker, cool like, I'm like for example, like on the wall, um staff write their names and like you can see here we've got signatures from the 1920s all the way up to like 1930, 1932, so 100 years of signatures basically. Um including I think Jim Monroe did sign his name somewhere around here. Who did sign? Uh, Jim Monroe. Really? Yeah, I think his signature is. What year did he sell? He he well, sold he it to employers. Yeah, didn't he? he gave it over to the the business to um, four of the sort of senior employees who became managing partners, and um, two of them have since retired. So now it's just two of them, and yeah. But the building itself uh, belongs to the Monroe family. So really? Yeah. So this is kind of cool. Like these are the old original bank cubbies. Yeah. Still have labels like mortgage loans and things like that. Now we just use them for junk, basically. <laughs> hey, they have their. It'd be impossible to get them out of here, or it'd be a, too much work. Yeah, but you can see, like, I mean, the vaults come in handy, like over here. Well, I'm gonna. There's an earthquake. It's pretty safe down here. Yeah, I just wouldn't want to be trapped. That's for sure. Wait. But yeah, you could get through, like, get, get underneath one of those doorways and you'd be okay. But yeah, so this is where we keep all of our old, uh, not our old, I should say, our remainders. So this is where the bargain books live. We have a lot of remainders. Remainders. And so a lot of people who come into the store, like, you know, once a week at least, because we're constantly getting new remainders. So these are publishers overstock. We're able to sell these at a discount price. So we get. You know, we basically like buy them in bulk and we put them up on the, min the tables in the middle of the room. So this is a vault too? Mm hmm Wow. So the building actually like the basement area, there's sort of like junk rooms beyond here, but it continues out basically like that's Government Street. And so the building goes out beneath that Government Street. That is Government Street. Yeah. And so it goes right out underneath the street. Yeah, what see. great and use of those. space, like really. I, we're, we're kind of like spoiled in that respect because we have so much space to, to keep things, whereas like, you know, some stores do not have that, so yeah. And I bet there's like really poor cell service down here, if any at all. 
Yeah, it's pretty hard to get bars. <laughs> Just goes on. Whoa. So that goes way out to Government Street. I won't take it down there, it's pretty nasty. It's just the men's bathroom. <laughs> wow. I am so grateful for your time. Oh, you're I welcome. am like, <laughs> <laughs> just like wow. Wow. And where does this go out to? This goes out to um, just the back alley. This is, this is Langley Street right here. Yeah. So yeah, that's where you get a lot of deliveries. Come on, Ashley. Right now, I must, I must have going back upstairs now because yes, I, absolutely. We're doing Thank a change of the guard. Yep. Oh but gosh. yeah, I'm glad you were able to come down. Oh, I'm so glad you were able to take me down. Yeah. Ooh. I know it's. And a your name is? My name is Sarah. Thank you so much, Sarah. Remember?